Hello. So, we're going to redo a video, because apparently I left out a good chunk of important stuff. So, Seal of the Empress. This one right here is a ring. Increases max health by 20, reduces max stamina by 10. It also, when you have it equipped, unlocks a secret room for, I believe, the scatter gun. I could be wrong off the top of my head. Don't hate me for that. Uh, and then... The Red Doe Sigil increases Relic healing effectiveness by 30%, which doubles when the wearer's health is below 50%. And again, I think this one also unlocks a secret room in a different area. Those are different videos, so they're not going to be in this one. But you do use these two items for other things. What I missed in my other video is the ornate box and key. So if you go to your adventure mode or your story mode, like I'm in adventure right now. I re-rolled adventure. Doesn't matter what difficulty. You want to make sure that your starting area is the Red Throne. This gives you the Empress um, quest line. She gives, I think, four different rewards. This is only going to cover two of them. Now, when you first run into them, you're going to have some choose your own adventure stuff. You can be a dick like I normally am, and then you end up causing a fight, and you go to prison. Um, or you can just be all the top answers are typically always the, the nice answers. But you don't go to prison if you pick all the top ones. Actually, you should be able to quit by now. When it gives you the option to fight, I think you should be able to just quit. You don't want to pick the fight answer, obviously. So, okay. I think I'll get this. Boom. Okay. So they're friendly now versus fighting me. It shouldn't matter the outcome at the end. Just when you're finishing the storyline, now that I'm friendly with them, I have to come in here versus you'll normally be talking to somebody outside the front door. All right, once you progress to almost the very end, uh, you'll typically go through the Withering Weald, then through a dungeon, and then that takes you to the Far Woods. The Withering Weald has the little tree creatures that walk around. The Far Woods has all of the roly-polies. Then you're looking for Widow's Court. This is the last zone. This brings you to the world boss and completes the storyline. So... We're looking for a couple key items here, and this is what I forgot in the last video. So in this zone, there's going to be a key to open up a door. And then there's going to be another key, the ornate key. Um, and both of those are relatively easy to find. They're going to be in random locations on the ground. Um, the box, the ornate box that the ornate key opens is hidden behind an invisible wall down below the palace. And I'll show you how to, how to, how to get there. That's the, that's the main reason why I'm redoing this, because that is something that uh, can be missed. You can complete the storyline without even ever getting it. So it's it's a little crucial to getting, like, the red doe amulet thingy. So right here, orange are quest items. And I bet you, well, that's going to be one of the keys. But that's probably the key to open the door up there. And then I want to say the ornate key has usually always been in the temple for me over here. One of the disappointments for me personally in Remnant 2 is all the maps. The majority of the important maps are the exact same layouts. Uh, where I liked the random, it helps as a content creator show where things are, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is the same. This is my fifth time here. It's the same layout. But uh, that's not always here. Sometimes the items are in different locations. Um, this has been here usually almost every time right there, but not every time. Go down here. It's to the left, right? So entrance is down over here. We got the tower, the palace. This is all locked right now. Come in here. Then there's a ramp. You follow down here to the water. Dodge to jump. Took me forever to figure out the move. You don't have to sprint either. You can do it while walking. Had a lot of a lot of death figuring out all that, and you can even jump sideways. Oh. 
dun, dun, dun. This is the ornate key, I bet you. I bet you, I bet you. Nope, tarnished key. So this opens the door up top. Tarnished key. The ornate was the one sitting on the ground that we pointed out earlier. Follow this back here. There's going to be a chest. Um, there's a lot of invisible walls in Yesha dungeons and stuff. And they make noises. So, hold on. Let me turn my game audio up. You hear the little possessed sound? If you have headphones in, I have one tip I could give anybody about playing this game is wear headphones. Even if they're not surround set, like, it's it's game-changing. There's, um... Yeah. This is making noise. Alright. Let's turn that back down. I don't remember where it was. Boom. Here's the box. Okay. So when you get the key, you can open the box. It gives you a seed. Uh, you can turn the open box in for a different reward. I have not done that one yet. Um, and I clearly am not going to do it this time because I'm redoing an older video. Uh, you can take the seed back to Ward 13 and make a tree. The tree will eventually give you a relic. You cannot unlock the box and turn it in for what we're doing in this video, the Red Doe Sigil. And then if you're polite to her after you complete the storyline, after this next boss, we'll go back, turn it all in. We'll get the Empress or the seal of the Empress also. Oh. Okay. There's a little paper. Let's, can you, can, same thing, man. This guard. Is either in that building or right here. And every time I try to pick up this, I end up having to read. Uh, there we go. Ornate key. Now, for those of you that have never interacted with items in the game. Um, you can see interact. A lot of things will have hidden stuff that you can interact with by spinning around and finding the right spot. Um, but that's how you would unlock this and get the stuff out of it. We're not doing that. Now you can go use the tarnished key to get up into there. Um, this opens up the door so you can go back through the other side, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's creatures and stuff to kill way out that way. There's a secret over there I have another video for. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's with the red doe sigil. You walk up into the statue room. Okay. I'm going to go kill the boss. We'll be right back. All right, so after you beat the Corruptor, we don't have to run back. We can just go to the Teleporter. Um, side note, not going to go into detail, but the Corruptor has an alternate kill. If you kill it without uh, dropping the Golem, meaning like you don't shoot the Golem in the head where the, the Corruptor comes over and picks him up and revives him, and you get all that free weak point damage. If you just literally white damage him to death and let the Golem walk around, uh, you get a, a separate item. I don't know what it turns into yet, but you get this guy. Probably a weapon mod. All right, Red Throne. Let's go turn everything in. We got the ornate lockbox. We got the ornate key. And we finished the quest line. Red Throne. Is he friendly? He is friendly. They weren't friendly in the other place. Widow's Court. They must not have got the memo. Yeah. Now we want to be nice, cordial, whatever. We don't want to be a dick. So, the, and see, I don't know if it's going to show the items now that I already have it. But this is how you get the ring. Long live her permanence. I'm going to kneel. Boom. Scrap. I forgot it's reversed. It's not reversed. Um, that would have been the ring. I'm just going to keep picking the options. I can't remember how we... We've talked to them a second time to give them the lockbox. I think we do. Let's talk to them again. So, the, yeah. The first questioning was for the quest line. Now we've got the box. 
Um, I think this might belong to you. Give the lockbox. And we haven't unlocked it yet. Impossible. Where did it be? It is Still picking the top options. It has not its risk. In the, it has not the Boom. And that would have been... That would have been the red doe uh, necklace thingy. Now, fun fact. For those of you that stuck around, because I feel like everybody's already watched the bad video, so they're not going to rewatch the good one, but here's, here's some bonuses. Come out here to the library. Seal of the Empress. Put it on. Uh huh? Ford scatter gun. I got a video on this. And then a chest. All right. There you go. That one covers everything regarding how to get it start to finish. A lot of times I don't go over start to finishes because there's a lot of things that require this and require this and require this. Um, and I'm showing off just how to get the specific items. But this one was different and that's why I'm remaking it because that ornate lockbox was legitimately, it's it's hidden behind an invisible wall. Um, so it's not like, I don't know why it wasn't in there. I have footage of me getting it the first time. I, I don't know if it's the fact that I just... Assumed it was a quest item off the top of my head when I was uploading the video, and we all would have had it. It was just, I don't know. It's okay. Not very bright. Not the smartest. But we fixed it. So, there you go. See you in the next one. Bye now.